The Omen 3, The Final Conflict. Now, I want to show you this cover. And I want you to look at it. Does this look like the cover of a horror movie or a political thriller? <laughs> if you answer political thriller, you are correct. This movie is really bad. And the main reason being, this movie does not feel like an omen for two reasons. Uh, the first first reason is, this movie is about an adult Damien. And I think you're missing the point at that point. This whole franchise, up to this point, is about how Damien is a kid. And, that, and that's what makes him scary because... You harm a kid. I mean, he is the, the spawn of the devil, but he's still a child. And so it's a scary idea and thought and process. And you have to see how characters grapple with this idea and things like that. Very creepy, very weird. And that's what the first movies dealt with. Now you have the adult aspect of it, and it just feels wrong. The second reason this doesn't feel like an Omen movie is because it feels more like a political thriller. You can replace entire sentences with political speeches. Real world political speeches, and it would be more apt to than what's actually happening on the screen. If it weren't for the fact that they constantly mention the devil and fighting Christ, it would not be seen as the horror movie it is. There is nothing scary about this movie. Of course, we have Omen kills, but the kills aren't really interesting or memorable. This movie is just a mess of all these weird ideas. And what's really interesting about this movie, I didn't know, realize until after I finished watching it. Sam Neill is Damien in this movie. And he is so bad that he's completely unrecognizable in this movie. Every line of dialogue, every monologue he gives, it's just awful. I think he's trying, but I think the script here is so bad that it, it just comes across like he's just not doing a very good job when I think it's actually more of the script. But geez, la freaking wheeze, what a terrible movie. Uh, the only good aspect about this movie is Jerry Goldsmith's score. He is an incredible composer. He's legendary. He did the Star Trek movies. He did the Omen. And he won an Oscar for the Omen. And now he did the sequel. And then he also did the score for this one. But it just is terrible, this movie. And the worst part is they call it the Final Conflict. And then we have the Omen 4, The Awakening, which kind of continues off of it. I haven't seen this one, so we'll be talking about that next week. So, yeah, but <laughs> I think we're at the really awful part of the Omen franchise. Hopefully the remake's good, but I've heard dog shit things about 4, so I don't think it'll be four good. But, yeah, this was a terrible movie. Don't watch it. Jeez, Louise. I kind of wonder, why, did, why is no one talking about the Omen sequels? It's kind of like, that's the thing. When you start watching a franchise and you go, why doesn't anybody talk about the sequels? And then you sit down and watch them and you're like, ah, that's why. Because they're fucking terrible.